Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. So let's be entertained. Looking at Redbox this morning, we got a little bit of time into the market. We can kind of read what's going on. As I'm speaking, we can see that it's slowly dropping out of this level of support. Falling in this trend line now, we did get a little bit of a breakout. It broke out of that down channel that we've been in for so long. As I said yesterday, watch for it. It has to break above this 10-10 level. It never did. It popped its head up once, got sucked right back down below that, still acting as resistance. So in the short term, it's coming down. Um, unless something turns around, I'm looking at the RSI. The RSI is not doing anything at all, sitting at around 38 on shorter term time periods, 35 on the one hour, about to drop probably below 50 on the daily. That's not a good sign. That means it's going to get even more bearish unless something turns around. So knowing that information, you guys have to make your own decisions on what you want to do from here. I think there's a lot of questions that are going to be in play. Is it going to join the Russell 3000? What's that going to tell us if Redbox does join the Russell 3000? I think that could be a subtle hint that maybe Redbox has some inclination of getting out of the acquisition. Otherwise, if they don't join the Russell, I, I think that would tell us that they're probably just going to go through with the acquisition because there would be no reason for them to join. It would do nothing for them that I can see there'd be no value in doing that. But if they were going to remain their own company and they chose to join the Russell, then there's the value that's added there. It's going to continue, hopefully, to add to Redbox success and long-term visions that they have. What are they going to do for the long term? How are they going to separate themselves if they really bust out a streaming platform? How are they going to differentiate themselves? How are they going to set themselves apart from a market that has several big players in the game already? Um, obviously, the model that they have at the current moment, it needs to change. It needs, uh, <laughs> needs revamping because times do change. So we're watching it. It's just banging its head off the 13 and the 30. It's struggling to get any strength following this channel, about to lose support here if we go below this 920 level, roughly. Um, maybe the gap fill yesterday, you know, it was just a partial, so maybe it wasn't enough to satisfy the markets and it's going to come down and try that again. But we really just need to keep an eye on the RSI overall. We want to see this heating back up. We want to see some de at least above, you know, 50 on the shorter time frames, just to give us a little bit of stability, even to just be able to consolidate in this channel here between 919 and 1010. So as long as we can maintain 50, I think we're going to have some consolidation. But if we can't keep that up. It's going to continue to follow that downtrend. Just trying to give you guys a heads up of what I'm looking at for the day so that you guys can also be prepared and see this on your own charts. Obviously, I can read the charts back to you at the end of the day, and anybody can do that. But what we want to do is a little bit of TA, a little bit of thinking, a little bit of um, reasoning behind why it's moving the way that it is. So I hope that that helps you. I hope that you can apply some of this in your own chart reading in your own trading but again guys rsi is going to be huge on this play we we need it to be hot we need it to be at least above 50 and we on the shorter time frames we want it honestly closer to 60 65 be pumping the longer time frames at least above 50 and it's right now it looks like it's trending down so it's getting close to where it's going to have to make a decision MACD on the longer time frames looking bearish, still flipping down, down. Yeah, so watch this channel. If it drops out of this channel, we're, we could be attempting that full gap fill down to $8.55. From there, as always, support at $7, or the eight fifty five will just turn, afterburners will be on, and we'll be running again. The bulls tried, the bulls couldn't get it out above this breakout level. So here we are again, playing the same game. 
So let's see what happens. Keep an eye on it. Plenty of time left in the trading day, and uh, we'll just go from there. I'll be back with a wrap-up video. If you don't mind, drop a like, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. As always, stay golden, people, and may your accounts stay green.